that, that I've seen in my past, but I've been separated from, you know, um, and to set up education centers, to set up um, spiritual centers, you know, to learn the truth, the unadulterated truth. What's that? Well, I mean, we have stories that we're told as children. There comes a point when you learn the truth about Santa Claus. And it's a painful truth. It wrecks a whole lot of traditions. But from it, you take on the responsibility of being the Santa Claus and bringing the gifts and making miracles happen when you let go of the idea someone else will. So a lot of those things have to come into understanding. And I was so grateful, you know, to be invited here by the head of state because even in my own country, here I am an actor. Right, nominated for Oscars, for Academy, for all kind of awards, every possible kind of award, right? Um, that I would think. Here I've invented a new form of flight and unlimited bonding. I couldn't understand how my own country didn't grab a hold to it or gravitate to it immediately. I can understand how there was no press about it. I initially talked about this as I discovered the grand unified field equation. I, that's what I talked about it as. This is the grand unified field equation in geometry, it put into geometry. And look at the things we've been able to do from it. Not a peep. Not a peep. I couldn't understand how and why. So when I was invited, when I was invited to come and share some of my discoveries here. That's being honored. That's being appreciated. And I hope that the innovations and discoveries I've made will be able to benefit the people of Uganda because they'll have the tech ability and the, not, the know how to approach all new all new problems, any old problems with new ideas. The ceiling is being taken off of us with a new understanding. That's the fruit I want to share and invest in here. So we've got um, some really, really big plans. Um, we're going to have to set up a training facility for individuals to learn about these things immediately. That's the, that, that's the first thing, because you have, it's a new form of flight. And for individuals to learn how to build them. We have printers, but that's one thing. But having the men and women of Uganda build these, having them as engineers developing flight systems with it, developing um, graphics with it. It's now time to put Uganda to its task, you know? It's the smartest and most beautiful people on the planet. It's the pearl of Africa. Let it shine now. So that's what I want to do here. And that's what we're doing here. So within, by the end of a year's time, even less than that, we will have the facilities. As soon as ICT is able to open their facilities, we will be starting the training process and asking for resumes. We're building a website now to have the Ugandans, and all they need is at least one year of, of university and have an appetite towards engineering. And we need people from all walks of life, you know, but it's building something new and the opportunity and nowhere else in the world can they teach about this because it's patented and they need to get a license so Uganda will be where this new technology is able to grow from that's what I'm here for I'm here for the children and the people and I look forward to one day when the GDP from Uganda is in the trillions not from things they're exporting as the the raw materials of Uganda, but as the, the, the gifts and the fruits of, of young men and women's minds when they take the cap off of them and give them a technology that no one else has been given, a new education. Mm -hmm. you're, co you're usually known for acting. How did you get into this idea and technology and innovation? Um, the innovation 
is a need for saving the planet. Because we don't know how to utilize our resources properly, we have to find a more efficient and more cooperative system in how we deal with the world. And Lynchpin can do that. You know, all of the technology, when you have the truth, can do that. So my desire to fix the world, to remove the upper atmosphere of those spent fuselages and all of the debris that sit up there, that sat up there from the very first rocket that went up there, that needs to be cleaned out, the plastic out of the ocean. And since it's too hard to ask human beings to do it, I'm developing linchpins to do that. And that's going to be in Uganda? That's going to be throughout the entire world, but we're going to build them here. We start, this is the first place we'll be building them. Okay. Now you've experienced the weather, the food, the culture. What's been your highlight so far? My highlight? I've never met a king before. Okay. And yesterday I got to sit and was given a name by the king of Toro. Do you remember the name? Harali. Ooh! <laughs> yes, and your lovely wife, what did she get? A body. Oh, wow. Good memory right there. And what's the meaning? Do you remember what the meaning is? Um, Arali uh, 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 means, you know, peaceful with fire, like lightning. And a uh, boldy, I think if I say it right. Mm -hmm. It's um, a loyal love. So, it's... That's been the greatest part because it's on the same day as our son's birthday. So now we have a name day that's with our son's birthday and I got to meet the king and the king knew me, knew my work and the queen mother knew me and, and they gave us so much honor that, um, yeah, that, that touched me. Is there anything that actually shocked you about Uganda? The education is strong. And the fact that there's no, you guys have accomplished this drive that's visible in everyone's eyes without having art taught in schools, without having music taught in schools, but everything is so, so musical, even the way you drive, that there's, you have to be able to anticipate with the next with the next theme is coming or something you're going to change okay we're changing key all right boom we're out here and no one's frightened not even the three or four year old kids um, you come from a country that has been very uh, direct on accusing not accusing but telling uganda that um you know they've broken human rights and they're not okay with so many things that have been happening in uganda but you have gotten to come and experience Uganda. What what have you so far observed? Any of the things that you've read about Ugandans in? Well, what's interesting, I too have had things said about me in the internet. I've been besmirched. I've become persona non grata. I've been forced to make it make my way through Hollywood, you know, based off of things that have been said. And when you examine those things, you find that those things weren't true at all. But there's a lot of people that you know, behaved a particular way with me because they believed what they had read and what they had been told. Um, uh, I, I see that there are a lot of places in the world where those same things happen. And what I do know is I was invited by the president, the head of state, to come here so I could bless this place and to see its natural beauty and tell the world about how beautiful it is and to see that the parks were full with people. But the problem was everybody was, most of them were white. We need more of the children of Africa to come and see and partake in what's taking place here, you know, and feel they are home and not just limited to Detroit or whatever part of the world they're in. And come and test out. Come and see what the, what the proof is. Okay. Are you a spiritual person? Of course. What, what do you mean, of course? I have a church, a church of truth, love, and consciousness. So everything is based on truth, love, and consciousness. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and remaining in that space as best as one can. Mm -hmm. Are we seeing you back soon? Yes.
Yes, it's, if, as long as they welcome me here, you know. But what we bring here is opportunity. It's, it's the opportunity that the rest of the world wish that I could bring to them. And I hope it's appreciated. I hope that, you know, when we send out for those resumes, they will be a paid internship. They won't just be applying. It will be a paid internship for six months while they're learning in the flight simulator and learning how to build. That's what we're about to do. And we'll keep growing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's Timbrecha Radio UBC West. We have been at University in. We have been at Garden City. We have been at the Comedian's Mansion. Jackson, you mean where? Don't miss. Yeah, man. Come and get a milata. 